Hey guys, welcome to Imatech. Today we're going to talk about the Snapdragon 855 5G and the Kirin 990 5G. Two of them are going head to head. Kings upon kings going head to head. Now, if you know this video I'm about to show you is helpful, click the red subscribe button to subscribe to Imatech. And click the double notification button to get notified to all my new new videos. And like my video and don't forget to drop your comment below. If you're done, let me know. Okay, you're done. Let's go there. First of all, we want to start with the Kirin 995G. The Kirin 995G is the Hawaii latest processor which they boast of. The multi gigabyte, which I'm trying to say the 5G speed, uh, the connectivity browsing speed performance is more faster and it's faster, look faster and I'm, I'm not sure you're going to experience a slowdown network using this. Well, the powerful intuitive experience. Now, the powerful intuitive experience, which I mean the battery or should I say the power performance of the Huawei Kirin 919. Now, the Huawei Kirin 990 is going to launch in the mobile device, which is the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So, and I'm going to experience a, a better battery performance, a better power, power performance in this Kirin 990. It's advanced performance in the Kiri 990 5G. It came with a lot of high performance and high upgrade. Um, Hawaii are stepping up. I can see new upgrade in CPU, GPU, RAM, storage, and other things. Um, Hawaii boasts of this Kiri 995G, the most fastest chip in mobile phone, and that is the truth. Let's talk about the new feature of the Leica camera. Now, the Kiri 990 came with an upgrade inside the Leica camera. Now, me taking a picture, I have the right to remove any object in my picture. A new performance on adding another object or changing the background of the video, uh, the background you know, of the video, changing the environment. Now, this future is mad. The Kiri 990 5G came with a better zooming performance than it was going to wow the world or beat each phones. Now, I would like to say I will call it the eagle eye zoom to me. Nevertheless, in the Kiri 990 picture capacity, or shall I say the quality of the camera capacity, uh, it came with a noise cancellation. Like you will experience less than the noise cancellation in your picture. The Kiri 990 came with a 4K video performance and it supports a portrait video. Ring. Wow, that is nice. Now, using the Huawei Mate 30, which they're going to launch using Kirin 990 that will come with the Kirin 990 chip. Now, taking pictures, having portrait videos on your phone, it looks like you use a Canon camera to take pictures or use a professional DSRO Canon camera to take pictures. Not knowing that you use a, a flagship high performance phone, which is a Huawei phone. Great news for mobile game users. Now, Performance of gaming, graphic, and everything, and in the Kirin 990 chip, uh, is more experienced. Now you can experience a new future in the Kirin 990. Playing game without hanging, lagging, and graphic is sharp. And performance of the game. Mwah. Moving on to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 5G. Multi gigabyte everything, which I'm talking about, uh, this performance or speed network. Now, the 5G is going to be 20 times that the leap of the 4G. Um, this 5G of Snapdragon Qualcomm or uh, 55 is going to experience uh, a speed of network of life in this future. The three times increment of the AI performance and the two time double uh, AI performance in the competition. Now, me comparing the network with the 5G network speed and the Hawaii Kiri 990 5G. Now, I would say the Hawaii Kiri 995G is faster in the Snapdragon and in performance, the Hawaii Kiri 990 won the Snapdragon. 
the Snapdragon 85 came with a camera feature, so let's check that one out. So this is a camera feature that the Snapdragon 855 came with. Um, I will like to comment on what the Snapdragon company have brought to themselves, but uh, I will not say this 855 is more comparing the, with the Hawaii 990 feature because the Hawaii 990 feature came with a latest camera future performance in this world. So, I will not see anything wow in the Snapdragon. You'll be experiencing a portrait picture taking, um, yeah, a portrait picture taking, but in video aspect, your video will come with a portrait picture taking, just like the Hawaii 990, or should I say, sorry, the Kirin 990 5G and the HD. Something that the Snapdragon did in showing us this thing that it looked like it is taking with a kind of camera but no no it's taking with a mobile phone but i don't know how the snapdragon did it but i know that this future is more better but not better than the hawaii or should i say the kiri 990 so mobile games lovers um the snapdragon a55 5g performance of uh of it uh, of the graphic and the performance of the game you are you're going to experience a neat clean graphic and performance of the performance of any game you are playing just like PUBG or any game you are playing but it's not going to be better than the yk 990 uh 5g looking at it but my own comparison that the yk 995 g won the snapdragon Okay, the Kirin 995G came with the latest feature. A feature that is only when you video your face and it scans your face to read your heart blood pressure and your your heartbeat. And that is a great feature and it is more higher advanced and I love it. Now looking at this 3D sonic sensor that the Snapdragon F55 brought, I will not say it's a wow or the woo future for that. But the whole Kiri 995G future, just reading, your, just taking a video and it reads your blood pressure or your heartbeat. It is a nice future for that. Well, guys, the Kiri 995G beat the Snapdragon 855 5G. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at I am Ikoko, I am underscore Ikoko, and click to the subscribe button, the red subscribe button, and click to the bell notification to notify all my new, new videos.